the election symbols order 1968. It clearly says that the EC can decide disputes amongst rival groups. More so, the Supreme Court upheld it uh, in 1971 that the EC is the top boss ultimately. So in, in terms of legal context, really it's not out of turn what? that the EC has decided to do this. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll come right back. I'll come right back, Rajdeep. I want to... No, yes, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, the EC, the EC has the... The EC, has the, the EC has the powers, there's no doubt about it. But we've seen in the past that the EC has also at times frozen political symbols till such time as there is greater clarity. Now there is a sense that the situation in Maharashtra, so the Uddhav Thakre mm -hmm. camp has argued, is still in a state of flux. The Eknath Shinde camp on the other hand has said, look, we formed a government, we've got a majority of the MLAs, let's get the symbol. So I think, the, as I said, while the first round of this battle has been conclusively won by the Eknath Shinde camp, I think the real battle will take place both in the Supreme Court and more importantly among the people of Maharashtra and Mumbai in particular. Do they really think that Eknath Shinde is the true heir to Bala Saheb Thakre's legacy or is it Uddhav Thakre? That battle ha cannot be settled in an election commission office. That will have to be settled on the streets of Mumbai when voting takes place. You know, uh, Sahil, I know what, what, you know, you've been wanting to come in, but uh, taking off from what Rajdeep says, you know, the flip side of it, could there be a sympathy wave for Uddhav Thakre at the back of this? Could it work for Uddhav Thakre? But, you know, you just don't have the symbol, you just don't have the party name, you're in power, you have the administration, you're facing a BMC election. The, you know, it does, the odds lie with you. Well, Preeti, uh, you know, I want to come to that and it's a very important point because uh, this is the toughest battle any Thakre would have ever faced in their lifetime. Bala Saheb Thakre in his lifetime have faced uh, existential battle for Shiv Sena so many times, especially during uh, the emergency, especially after the emergency when he, he was on the uh, wrong side of the history. He was with the Congress at that particular time and he fought the elections with the Congress and he faced the consequences. The Shiv Sena had almost become non-existent. But despite that, he could survive his party. The people in his party completely stood behind him because that was the time when Shiv Sena was not the political party. Whereas now the situation has changed. By the time Uddhav Thakre took over the party, Shiv Sena has already uh, you know, had the fruits of being in power. 1995 to 1999, party had run the full-fledged government in Maharashtra. It was part of uh, the Vajpayee cabinet uh, for, for six, uh, more than six years. Uh, then again with Devendra Fadnavis for five years. So the people uh, whom uh, Uddhav Thakre was leading have already uh, you know, uh, tested the fruits of the power in Maharashtra and also in the center. Most importantly right now, what Rajdeep had said is uh, absolutely right. But I would like to add two things in this because you know, what is going to happen now is that for next one year, the biggest story in Maharashtra is going to be not the BJP, not the mm -hmm. NCP, not the Congress, but which is the real shift, sir? It's going to be the still going to be the biggest fight because you know we have ample of examples in the history, in the political history of India. Uh, in Telugu Desam, uh, when yes. N. T. Ramarao was alive at that time, Chandra Babu Naidu carried all the uh, party MLAs with him, the party hierarchy, the party machinery with him, and he survived as a Telugu Desam. And N. T. Ramarao couldn't do a thing about it. But on the other hand, with the AIA DMK, uh, even if Jailita was thrown out of the party, she formed her own fraction. She was the one who actually eventually became the real AIA DMK. Is that going to happen in Maharashtra, which will only we come to know when the elections will mm -hmm. happen? But I would like to draw attention to. Or 1971, uh, what Sahil Congress O or Congress I. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I want to come to that only because that is the judgment which yes. has been cited in the Election Commission order while deciding which is going to be the real Shiv Sena. So the Congress's fate uh, 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 in 1971 was used to decide, uh, uh, you know, who is going to be the real Shiv Sena. They have applied triple test in the Sadi Kali judgment. I am mm -hmm. reading out the uh, triple test. The first one is the aims and objectives. The second test is of the party constitution and the third test is the test of the majority. Now what the election commission has found uh, when it came, comes to the aims and, uh, uh, aims and object, uh, 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 with respect to the aims okay. and objects of the party, uh, both the fractions couldn't satisfy election commissions that they are the one who are actually carrying uh, the aims and objects of the real Shiv Sena. The second thing about the party constitution, election okay. commission says that the various amendments with the part, uh, in the party constitution are not in the line uh, with uh, the registration of the political party, the rules of the registration of the political party. That's why the constitution has been kept aside. And now becomes the third important point is with the rule of the majority. 
which mm -hmm. was clearly on the side of Eknath Shinde. And on the basis of that, election commission finally decided that Sadiq Ali judgment is applied in the Shiv Sena, uh, right. um, uh, uh, you know, in the case of Shiv Sena. And that is the reason why the election symbol and the name of the party has been awarded to Eknath Shinde. Now, most importantly, uh, you know, Eknath Shinde is man of the hour. He has been claiming this ever since. Uh, I interviewed him during uh, India Today conclave, and that was the time he clearly said okay. that whatever happens, the election commission is very confident that right. the election commission. You know, but that's what he would.